All right, guys, uh, I had a good day today. Uh, it was a struggle, though. It was definitely a, a little bit of a battle with the market. I had some connection issues, so uh, a little bit of everything. Um, this was my watch list today. Uh, what we have here, Norwegian Cruise Line, Delta, Oxy, which is basically an oil play, and um, Carnival Cruise Line. So two cruise lines, an airline, and an oil play there. And they're all getting really high volume on the day. Um, I started off on a really nice trade on, was it CCL? Yeah, CCL right here. And you can see huge bearish candlestick here, high volume. Uh, I got a really nice pullback, and if I zoom in here... Um, on the one minute chart, I got a pullback right to the $24 level. And so I like that it was an even dollar level. I also like just the way these candlesticks were setting up. So it looked like a great entry. It took it short, partialed out here, took another partial there. And really I was, um, I was expecting, uh, there was a, the 200 MA, which is this line down here on the, on the five minute chart was down here at around 2320, I think. And I was really hoping to get down to there. But right after my second partial, I had just put in um, a stop order so I could get out at break even if it turned against me. And um, at that point, I actually lost connection here. So I'm hot spotting since I'm trading remotely. I'm actually hot spotting from a cell phone. And for the first time in the middle of a trade, uh, the hotspot failed me. So I kept trying to restart the phone, restart the hotspot. I restarted my computer, everything. I couldn't get it to work. Finally, it came back on. And what I found out was, luckily, I got that stop loss order in at break even before I lost connection. So this last partial got out at break even. Um, but for, you know, about three minutes there, I was uh, just restarting, turning on and off, doing all the tricks. And this really taught me a good lesson, which is that luckily this time I had the stop loss already input. But um, going forward, definitely made it a rule that uh, as long as I'm trading remotely, I'm going to have stop losses in uh, for my positions. Uh, so that way, if that ever happens, I know I can get out at break even, even if I'm not in front of my computer. Um, so anyway, this was a nice trade for me. It would have been better if I was still in front of my computer because I think it would have taken another partial as it stutter stepped here, but um, I'll take it nonetheless. Then you see uh, kind of rebounded here. I did some trades in between, I believe, um, but I'll just touch on all these here. So then uh, what I saw here was it came up, came back down, long wicks here lots of bearish volume so I actually took this long here thinking that we were just uh, retracing to VWAP kind of went below and that the $24 level was going to hold and we were going to go long here with an idea of getting to the 50 MA at least and a stop out below VWAP but um, as you can see <clears throat> it uh, continued down short so I stopped myself out pretty quickly here it's a pretty tight stop um, I'm happy with taking the trade, even though it's a trade that I stopped out on because I know what I saw and uh, I still think it was a good trade. Um, the one thing that's bad about it is I did take it long going into um, a moving average, this 100 moving average here. So that was not something I do often, but just because of the volume and everything, I still thought we had a chance. Uh, so I'm okay with the trade. Uh, and then later I had my second best trade of the day down here so this is all one trade um got in again right below the 24 dollar mark that was an important level all day and it kind of looked like okay it's completely rolled over here we had this uh 200 ma on the five minutes still so that was my profit target there and i thought maybe it might even bust through this and get to the 23 dollar level but uh, that never happened i took my partials along the way uh, and then I actually did a Thor style free roll, uh, Thor style free roll here. And uh, this is a good example of a free roll not working out. So partial, partial, partial. Um, actually, no, this one did work out. Um, I uh, partialed out and then I took the free roll here and then partialed it back out got out here and then got my last little bit. I was holding, hoping it would go at least to 23. 30 um, or to the $23 mark. That was this last partial, but it didn't end up happening. So I got out pretty close to break even there on the last little bit. So CCL, obviously I was trading all over today, 
Oxy, this is um, two trades on Oxy. Uh, this was a long trade that I stopped myself out on. And um, that's really not a, I, I like the entry because it was 23.50 and I looked like it had momentum and there's a level up here for a profit target. But really, if I'm taking a trade this close to VWAP, I mean, and I was going to go long, I should wait for a VWAP pullback. I should have waited for a long here. So it's kind of a, a bad entry there. But I stopped myself out um, and it turned out it was weak. Uh, and then later I queued in on it at around uh, the 2250 area. Uh, and again, we had the 200 MA down here. We had some big level two stuff going on uh, at the $22 mark. So partialed out, partial, 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 all the way down to 22. Um, so that was really nice trade. This is actually my best trade of the day as far as uh, profitability. It's my most profitable trade uh, of the day. I tried to do a free roll on this trade, and this is the free roll that didn't work out. So partial, 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 uh, free roll, and then it I just didn't like the price action, so I instantly took the free roll off the table and then my last little bit here at break even. So it's a free roll that didn't work. Uh, but I'm still happy I went for it. And uh, as I've said before, I'm really trying to work those in more consistently to my trading. Uh, I did one trade on Delta. It was just a stop out. This is my worst trade of the day. Uh, I let it run against me too much. Um, I tried to do... Uh, I watched Hiltzie's thing recently, and I think it was in the back of my head. So I tried to do his high of the day breakout trade here. And honestly, I just, that's not really my thing. So I don't know why, but I had just watched it and I tried to execute it and it didn't work out. And um, really, I don't like my entry on it. Um, so it was just a bad trade, but uh, a bad trade and my worst trade of the day. And then lastly, Norwegian Crew Line. Norwegian cruise lines chopped me up here. So I have a pattern. Um, I think other people know about it too, but I call it a bearish boot. Um, kind of looks like a boot there. So I saw that sort of pattern and essentially there's a, a regional low and then there's some sort of bouncing off of it and then a curl back down towards that regional low. And so I saw that happening. Um, I was also at a nice uh, $25 level here, which it had been toying with all day. And so I got, as soon as it broke $25, I, uh, I took it short and then I, I got a couple partials and then out at break even. And then I, it looked like it was going to do it. So then I took it short again and then stopped out. And then I took it short again, got one partial and then stopped out. Then I kept watching it. I took it short again, got stopped out, short again, stopped out. So I'm just getting chopped up, waiting for this big move to happen. Finally, this move happens, but at this point I'm already in the oxy trade so um i wasn't able <laughs> when when the move i wanted finally happened i was already in another trade and i i uh, don't take two positions at once and it was very hard to avoid the temptation uh to get into this position but i uh, just stuck with the oxy trade and i'm proud of myself for sticking to that rule there but that was my day um i ended up green it was a nice day and considering it was a choppy opening and i really had to fight the market and i had connection issues i'm really thrilled to uh get out with a nice green day.